What is up, everybody? I am back with another movie recommendation for you guys. This time, I'm still going to follow the trend of music-related movies. And this is a classic, in my opinion. Fairly, I feel like fairly known for a few people, but not to the world, I feel. And I think it should be recognized as a movie that is worthy of your time. Uh, it came out in 1996. Yes, it came out in 1996. And it actually is directed by a fairly known actor. I'm, I'm sure you guys have heard of him. Uh, his name's uh, Tom Hanks. <laughs> so I think this is only his second movie he's ever directed. Um, he's directed a few amount of uh, TV episodes, but this and Larry Crown, I feel, are his only noted directorial movies that he's done. And I'll, I'm, I'm just going to stop beating around the bush. The movie I'm talking about right now is called That Thing You Do. That Thing You Do is about, well, I'll just give you the synopsis, basically. It's about this group of kids in a small town who actually make it big by getting this one hit and just get to travel all over the world, get to be in movies, get to just do the whole spiel of any band who hits a number one hit on Billboard would do. I mean, like, they're probably overwhelmed and stuff like that. And it's just, like, about a story about a group that just makes it big. And I honestly feel like it's a movie that, similar to Rockstar, what I've already said, um, that just relates to a human being of being overcome by fame and stardom and to see how it takes hold of you and how it changes you and as a person and it just the reason why i really love this film is because it's so like like i've said before it's just so simple and they don't make movies like this anymore i haven't seen a movie like this ever it's like i feel like it could relate to somewhat of maybe well not really maybe but i feel like it kind of relates because the movie takes place even though it was made in 1996 it takes place in the 60s and it's kind of like around that area of like when the Beatles came out and made it big and so it kind of follows that type of music that kind of trend and it's just a movie that my parents love and I love and it's just every time it comes on you have to watch at least few scenes of it because it's worthy of like it's rememberable it's like yeah you you'll definitely remember it after viewing this movie honestly in my opinion i think tom hanks does a good job at his directorial debut and directing this movie he also i would say co-stars in this movie um he's not the main star because the main star is well there's a few main uh, but i feel the main main star is this drummer who actually, well actually let me, let me rewind and let me tell you. So this band has this song and they're trying to win this talent show. Their drummer gets hurt and can't drum anymore so they find this guy who, who goes to the same high school they do and um, they ask him to fill in for him. And so the song that he's trying to learn is kind of like a ballad, it's a really slow motion song. But he doesn't like it, the drummer, and he feels it's a more up-tempo song. So when they go on the talent show, he kind of changes it up. Even though the lead singer who wrote it doesn't like it, they have to go with it. And turns out it's a huge hit. And I don't think it would have became a hit if the drummer didn't do what he did in the beginning with the song and like making it more up-tempo and stuff. And so basically he jumpstarts their career, honestly. If they just went with the ballad, I feel like they wouldn't have got the recognition or the notice from these these gigs that want to play them in their like their pizza parlor and stuff like that like they wouldn't have got all eyes on them after they played this song i feel like they wouldn't have got noticed basically what i'm trying to say so his story is he's just he loves jazz he's a big jazz well he's not a jazz musician but he loves jazz his character is kind of similar to um ryan gosling's character in la la land not really right on the nose similar, but they share a little similar characteristics. So if you've ever seen that movie, you kind of know what I'm talking about. He's not a huge actor. I haven't seen him in uh, a lot of movies. I've seen him in like small bits here and there, but not, uh, not that many. But he actually does resemble Tom Hanks a lot. And which I found was funny because Tom Hanks is in this movie and he directed it. So I, I don't know if he picked this guy on purpose, but he does resemble a very young Tom Hanks. And which I found very um, interesting. His name is Tom Everett Scott. 
so yeah, I don't know he if uh, people a lot of people know about him, but yeah, that, that that's basically the main character. Um, everybody else, not really huge um, actors that we've seen in a lot of movies. I mean, uh, Steve Zahn, he's been in a fair amount of movies. I mean, the movie that comes to mind right now, he was in Daddy uh, Daycare when I was a kid. I saw him in there. He's also been in like other funny uh dumb movies but yeah uh, also i think everybody knows a lot especially you lord of the rings fans uh Liv tyler she's in this she plays basically the love interest she's the girlfriend of the lead singer but uh, you'll just have to watch the movie to see what happens with her but yeah Liv tyler oh charlie's theron she actually plays the um, the first girlfriend of spoiler alert of tom everett uh, scott's character in the movie yeah she's not a huge role which is funny because she's a huge actress now but minor role it but she's in it charlie's theron other than that giovanni ribisi uh he's in the movie he has another small character he's the he's the drummer who breaks his hand that the new drummer tom everett scott has to replace but yeah he's been a fair moon another movie i know off the top of my head he's been in uh plays a funny role is uh, the ted movies but yeah other than that not a huge cast which i kind of like because like you don't have a lot of egos in the movie that are trying to take a hold of the on-screen time and like trying to steal a show from one another it's just like it's good clean fun that's what I'm gonna say it's good entertainment and the music's really good too I really like the music it like I said it kind of resembles the type of music the Beatles were putting out in the 60s and I think that's where they got it from and they just kind of ran with the idea and yeah the soundtrack's pretty good I think my uh, my father owns it and um, some of the some of the songs are on there besides the main song that thing you do uh, are also really good and I enjoy it so let me get into Tom Hanks character so the band hits a big um, and so they need a manager they get a manager and he gets them their song on the radio but after that his job is done basically so he got he did what he told the band he was gonna do and so now he's gonna uh, give them off to a more known manager who can do a lot more for them uh, because this other manager who they got first is kind of like a like a maybe like a middleman he's kind of on the lower level of management but yeah he gives them off to tom hanks who is this new manager and he gets them all these gigs and shows and he gets them on movies and stuff like that and so that's basically tom hanks character he's like he's mr hollywood basically he knows what he's doing he's been in the business for a long long time and yeah he's basically just the guy to get them where they want to be tom hanks always does a great performance he does a great performance as this character and every time Tom Hanks on screen, you know he's gonna bring it. So directing and acting in a movie, I I applaud him. It's yeah. So you probably know what I'm gonna say now. Does this movie hold up? I would say, if people are looking for uh, out of the ordinary type of movie during this time and age, like just a really entertaining yet simple, easygoing, not in your face, no explosions, no high intensity action or big guns or just like sci-fi type movies um yes i think this movie holds up even though movies like this i like I've, i know i've said this a lot but i don't see movies like this being made that often anymore but in my opinion i think this movie holds up and i think anybody who puts this on uh young or old will get enjoyment out of this movie because it's just good clean fun i mean i think yeah it's rated pg you don't see a lot of those movies being made anymore um like live action non-cartoon movies with adults in it you don't you don't see those type of movies being made anymore that are pg you always see pg-13 rated r just like because that's what hollywood expects adults want nowadays just all these just in your face hardcore type movies so if you're just looking for an easygoing type of movie i'd say definitely this movie holds up because it's honestly in my opinion a cult classic it's really in my opinion, I don't think it's well known that much. I think it deserves a lot more um, recognition. And that thing you do is just, yeah, it's just entertaining. Just take my word for it. it great music, great cast, great idea uh, from Tom Hanks. I don't know if he was part of writing this as well, but yeah, just the writers on this. Really simple idea, but yet so fun. And last but not least, my score for this movie, I give it a solid, oh, let me just, I'm trying to put all together just the acting the the ideas the the music the how it's filmed how it looks uh honestly i might be really like not really be going hard at this movie like 
judging it all well because I feel a lot of people would give it a lower score than I'm about to right now. But in my opinion, this hits all the check marks for me. So I'm gonna give it a solid A. I feel this movie deserves a solid A. It's just, it's a breath of fresh air and just take my word for it. You'll enjoy it. If you love music, if you love type of music like the Beatles played or like uh, the Beach Boys or stuff of that genre, go ahead and watch this. It's, it's worth your time. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap up my quick little recommendation for you. And I hope you get a chance to watch this movie because I highly recommend it. And I know I said it about all the movies I've been putting out here, but Honestly, I highly recommend it. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you get a chance to watch this movie and how you feel about it and how you think Tom Hanks does as his directorial debut and you think he does a good job. Also, feel free to leave in the comments if you have any recommendations of good music related movies because I am a huge, huge music junkie and I feel like I'm open to a lot of music, music type movies from like, I'll just give you an example, like I love Amadeus to, um, I don't know, like Bohemian Rhapsody. Those are great movies. I mean, two different genres, but yet oh so good, right? So yeah, feel free to leave it down in the comments. And also, if you liked what you just watched today, feel free to leave a comment. Like I've said, like, or if you really liked it, hey, hit that subscribe button, all right? Helps me out. So until my next video, guys, I hope you guys are having a great day. And yeah. Peace.